The Travis County District Attorney's Office says an Austin man is the first to be prosecuted by its office under a new crosswalk law. The law makes it a crime to kill or hurt a pedestrian or cyclist in a crosswalk. The law has been in effect for nearly three years, but we first told you in January about the lack of enforcement across the state. As investigator Arzo Dost explains, families who have lost loved ones say Travis County is now setting a precedent. As Tadre Anderson made his way to face a Travis County District Judge in February, his case was watched closely by those behind a crosswalk law. Good morning, Mr. Anderson. Good morning, Your Honor. Court records show Anderson was arrested after running a red light, striking and killing a 64-year-old pedestrian at Little Texas Lane in South Congress Avenue in November of 2021. Police say the pedestrian had the walk sign to cross, but Anderson was looking at his cell phone. Court records we obtained show Anderson originally pleaded guilty and was given five years probation, but that was revoked after he failed to report to his supervision officer and he didn't pay court and other fees. In March, he was sentenced to 18 months in state jail. The case is a first in Travis County to be prosecuted under the Lisa Tory Smith Act. This sets an important precedent for the rest of Texas and for the implementation of the Lisa Tory Smith Act. The law is named after a mother who was struck and killed crossing the street with her son in a crosswalk and in a school zone in Fort Bend County in the Houston area in 2017. Her son survived. Officials say the driver was never charged. I'll tell you something. When you have a six-year-old ask you why it is that somebody can kill their mother without any consequences, without any law, that's a hard thing to respond to. The Lisa Tory Smith Act became law in September 2021, requiring drivers to stop for a pedestrian or cyclist in a crosswalk. If drivers violate the law and their serious injury or death, they could be held criminally responsible. Implementation is going very slowly. After her sister's death, Gina Torrey founded Citizens for Road Safety Texas. The nonprofit is making sure the law is enforced. Help us to help the people of Texas stay safe. Torrey was in Austin last month and spoke at a Texas Department of Transportation Commission meeting about the need for a grant to raise awareness. This would provide staffing on the ground uh, based in Fort Bend County to develop training materials on the new Texas Crosswalk Law and to go out and give those trainings. Tory says the Anderson case will be an example of how the law is implemented for other counties. We reached out multiple times by phone and email to Anderson's attorney, but he says he has no comment on the case. There hasn't been enough legal precedent, and so we are trying to assist people who come to us to connect the dots. Arzo Dost for State of Texas. Arzo asked the DA's office how many other cases are expected to be prosecuted under this new law. A records request shows two other cases have been filed under the offense of collision involving pedestrian, road user, and crosswalk. The Travis County District Attorney's Office sent us a statement saying our office takes any death or injury resulting from reckless driving as seriously as any other act of violence, adding drivers need to be well informed about new laws that protect pedestrians and cyclists to ensure everyone's safety on the streets. Thank you again for joining us for State of Texas. I'm Josh Hinkle and we'll be back next week to bring you an in-depth look at Texas politics.